Uh, the film's called Infected. Um, it's about four prisoners that escape um, a prison transfer. And um, they have to basically uh, survive a zombie apocalypse. Um, the film starts with um, the convicts being transferred to another prison. But the prison van uh, crashes because there's um, a person in the middle of the road. Um, after the crash, the four convicts that are in the van, um, they get out and notice that the person is a cannibal and he's basically eating, but they don't realise it's a zombie. Um, so the four decide to, decide to run away from the crash to a nearby shed where they, uh, they find uh, a family that also tries to attack them. Um, they lock themselves um, in a room in the in the like little shed place, and they they basically uh, kill the family, um, get the supplies and the food from there, and uh, they make their way to a nearby town. Um, in the town, they get um, attacked by a few more zombies, and they decide to stay in a house, and. Uh, after a couple of days in the house, they realise they're running out of food and supplies. And uh, basically they have to head out, head out of town, try and get some more stuff. And uh, But they end up running into a, a mob of zombies and they all get chased to a, into a forest. The, as they're getting chased, the group of four have to get split into like twos. So um, one pair run... Um, like further down a river and the other pair run across the river. The pair that run um, further down the river end up hiding in a tree and wait for the, the mob to go past and the, the other two that run across the river, they like find a, a fort that's got like more survivors in. Um, uh, they're in the fort. Um, the leader was uh, of the fort uh, basically allowed them in allowed them um, to stay there. And um, the other two that was in the tree, they basically stayed there for a night. Um, and they noticed like fire in the distance, which is the lights from the fort. So then they go off to the fort. Um, the two that are in the, the fort, um, basically put to a test to see if they can survive, like or if they're allowed in the fort first to like stay there. So they have to go out and find food and supplies again, which the fort was like lacking a little bit. Uh, on their way, they find a, a trench full of zombies. Basically, it looks like um, somebody's like planted zombies, like dig them a hole to keep them there. And um, it's got like loads of bones in it, of like, you know, dead skeletons. Uh, uh, they told the camp, and this basically upsets the camp. And uh, basically they think that somebody's keeping them like as pets. So they send the two again out to find out like thing. Um, they find the other two who are making their way to the fort. So then they're reunited like a four again. And uh, basically they, they bring the leader on, on the hunt as well to find out like what's been going on with this, this trench full of zombies. Uh, one of them one of the four goes with the leader and two other like armed guards and uh, the other three like it's like a split search party basically. Uh, then uh, the leader ends up like killing one of the armed guards which uh, one of them like sees and he takes some sauce. Uh, like the person from the four hostage because of what he's seen and then takes um, somebody from the camp hostage. Um, the three, the other three don't know that yet up until like they're on their way back and they walk past the fort and then they hear like a car coming and um, it's basically got um, the, con the one of the convicts and one of the people from the camp in that car like locked in the boot. He's about to get them out and he's about to like throw them in the trench. And uh, he confesses to feeding them to the zombies, like people. And um, basically, um, 
he froze one person from the um, the camp into the trench. But um, from the skeletons that have been stacked up, one of the zombies escapes the trench and like kills the leader. And then the four convicts like run back into town. And the town is basically overrun by the zombies now. And everyone's getting eaten. And uh, the four decide to run away again and post up at um, a house. And basically, they end up all dying in the end at that house. Um, the film will run for 85 minutes, which is short for like a horror film, because um, like horror films usually, like, usually last that long. Um, it's an original idea because the main antagonist of the film isn't actually a zombie. It's um, one of like the leaders of the camp. Um, it's UK because um, all the actors have been in like UK TV shows and films and they're all from the UK. All the locations that are in the film are based in the UK. And uh, it's also got a small budget, which is also like, more UK than American. The stars of it are Sean Pertwee, Robert Sheehan, Vinnie Jones, Joseph Gilgan, and Mark Strong. Sean is good for the role because he has past experiences in British horror films like uh, Dog Soldiers. Uh, He's recently been in Gotham, and he will play Darren, who is like uh, the leader in the brains of the four convicts. Then Vinnie Jones plays himself in the film as like a, a typical hard man of the group. He has recently been in Redirected, which received uh, positive reviews. And um, he's also good in, uh, not recently, but Midnight Meat Train, which was also uh, a success for him. Robert Sheehan will play Jacob in the film. He was out of Misfits and he's uh, basically going to be like the dark humour of the uh, of the, the, the group. Um, he's also in a film, Cherry Bomb, and he will play a similar role to his character in Misfits in my film. Joseph Gilgan will play Theodore. He was assigned misfits. He basically replaced Robert Sheehan when he uh, when he left. But um, I'm bringing them back into this film, like both of them together. And he's also going to play like a similar role to his misfits character, which is also like dark humor. And he's going to be like um, the scared one of the group. Is going to be like stupid in that. Mark Strong is going to be the bad guy, like the leader. He's going to be called Ed. Um, I chose him because. He's like, in Sherlock Holmes, he plays like a sly kind of enemy, basically. And uh, for my film, the, the antagonist is like really sly, so I thought them two would go well. Uh, he's also like a genius as well, in it? And he will be similar to that role in Sherlock Holmes in my film. Um, the clothes they'll be wearing. Um, Theodore and Jacob will be like uh, basically wearing these two when they get out of that prison uniform, which is their regular uniform. But um, the other two, Darren and Vinny, are going to be in um, that one, which is basically a high visibility like um, prison outfit to make sure that all the guards can see them properly because they're uh, that's basically like um, like one of the worst prisoners. Uh, so Theodore and Jacob will be wearing uh, those two, just to like regular clothes, sort of like represents their like youth-like behaviour, really. And uh, Vinny and Darren will basically be wearing those two suits um, after they get out of their prison uniforms, which they find the clothes in like in a nearby house. And uh, Ed, which is Mark Strong, he'll be playing the the black leather jacket at the end, uh, just like because of his like enemy like um, profile. Uh, the film will be released on the thirty first of October, which is Halloween, and um, on, in that Halloween, so I give uh, people something to do while they have the time off. The target audience of my film. Uh, 
I'll just hold on, go back. Forward. That's basically my uh, pre production director and producer will be there like over the 12 weeks and they'll be working on like, the script right for the first part and then they'll start to like have rehearsals go on from there. Uh, production. Everyone will be there for the, over the course of the weeks because that's when they'll be f um, fully shooting it. In post production, basically where the uh, like editing happens, the uh, editor will be there and the director will be there over the course. And uh, production manager will all be there over the like 12 weeks and then other people like that help the editor, like the sound people and that will be there. Um, the target audience, Uh, from a film will be aimed at 18 to 25 year olds in the social ep economic group in E. Uh, they have disposable incomes to spend on themselves. The primary audience of this film will be that um, will be those like 18 to 25 year old males because they're like usually attracted to like dark humour, which is happens a lot in this film and also horror. Uh, secondary audience will be people who are just general fans of horror films, uh, like, um, but more like women, which are like, just like, you know, want to go see like a horror film or something. Uh, can you go back? The, that, that's the equipment list. Uh, everything that I'll be needing there, and on the next slide, that will be like the total, close to two million with like. That like all that, all the crews that would cost like that much and that, and then the director and the producer. That's that's basically the total build like the crew and the actors. And then uh, next slide. In my film, there'll be like there'll be brands, but um, we'll have contacted like the company owners of the brand to uh, say, "Oh, can we uh, use this?" Basically, uh. Range um, Land Rover will be one of them for the car at the end. Um, so that'll be like an example of like how we contacted them, and they allowed us to like use it for that film. And they'll we'll, like not be like discriminating any race or like religion or anything for the film either. So that won't happen in the film. Um, next slide. These are my uh, storyboards. Uh, in the film, there'll be like a lot of like like following shots, basically the like chase scenes, and there'll be like lot, lots of like quick editing as well, because it's like a lot of chase scenes that go in in the film, and also because it's horror. Uh, and that's my uh, my video. Just, yeah, just click the link. Yeah. Go on slideshow. The top. Slideshow at the top. You can hear. He's meant to be open, I think.
Merci.